Hi, I'm Troy Bailey and welcome to the Comic Book Movie Collector's Guide, the show about collecting all things superhero cinema. And today we are looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles Forever movie. Let's get into it. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles Forever is an animated superhero film with a runtime of 81 minutes. An edited version of the movie was released on July 11, 2009, worldwide on TV, with the uncut version of the film later appearing on the CW4 Kids website on November 16, 2009, which includes 8 minutes of footage cut from the original version that aired on TV. The edited version was released on DVD on November 21st, 2009 in the US and the uncut version was later released in 2011 on DVD in Australia, England and other European countries with no Blu-ray or 4K HD release as of this video. It was directed by Roy Burdine and Lloyd Goldfine and was written by Matthew Derrick, Roy Burdine and Lloyd Goldfine and Rob David with the film being produced by Mirage Studios Incorporated and for Kids Entertainment and distributed by Viacom Media Networks. A crossover film featuring three different incarnations of the Ninja Turtles fighting together, it was produced in celebration of the 25th anniversary of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and in order to honour their anniversary special and serves as a series finale to the 2003 series. The plot of the film has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meet their match, literally. The modern day gritty Ninja Turtles must team up with their classic cartoon counterparts on a wild adventure to stop two shredders and their evil plans of multi-dimensional destruction. Okay, the disc in case. So I have the DVD version here, the Australian release. And, uh, Look, it's not too bad. Like, I'm, I was never a huge fan of the 2003 Turtles. Um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's not too bad. There's a UK release I'll have up here that has these Turtles and the other lots of Turtles on the front cover, which I think is a lot better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, the spine, I don't mind that spine either. That's pretty good. And, of course, the back, you have the classic Turtles, which is more my Turtles from my era. <laughs> um... But overall, it doesn't look too bad. It suits the style of what the other DVDs are like in the 2003 range. So if we look at the uh, disc, uh, same again. We've got a nice colour disc, which I'm happy with there. Uh, but it's just a front cover. Nothing too spectacular there at all. Um, overall, like, it's satisfactory. I was going to say it's satisfactory. It's nothing special, but it's not terrible either. Like, it's very much in the vein of those 2003 ones. So with that, I'm probably going to give this a 5 out of 10. The story and script. Now, these are one of those unique times where I'm going to say to you, the story is great, but the script was bad. Now, I can hear you out there going, how does that work? Don't they kind of go hand in hand? Uh, and I would say 90% of the time that does that is the case. But here, hmm, not so much. So let me explain. The story of the plot of this movie was such a great idea with multiple incarnations of the turtles from different multiverses joining up to stop a version of Strata from destroying, you know, all the universe and like all the other different version, versions of the turtles. It's a great storyline. Don't, don't get me wrong. It, it, it would look great on screen, but the script just let it down as there seemed to be some sort of ulterior motive uh, as this movie spent the whole time making the new turtles out to be these the best most awesome versions of the of the turtles and just kind of just spent all their time putting down the old version of the turtles by making them look like goofy stupid idiots at times it was very hard to watch as someone who like me used to watch the og turtles back in the day um they you know they got the original turtles so wrong and i don't think it was because of lack of research it just seemed like there was some other agenda going on here as 
yeah, you know, to it as like Nickelodeon had just bought the full rights to the Turtles, uh, not be long, not long before they made this movie. So it seemed like they were trying to bury the OG Turtles to put their versions up on a pedestal. You know what I mean? Like, I just that is really poor form from Nickelodeon's part, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, with that, I am going to give this a 15 out of 30. From page to screen, so as far as the turtles go in this movie, the look of the animation of each incarnation of the turtle is great. I did love the fact that the OG turtles look like the OG turtles uh, from the cartoon, and the original comic book versions were very much like their comic book, you know, incarnations. And for that, I give them top marks for the animators. Uh, they did it. They did a great job, and they absolutely nailed it. Now, for the personalities of the Turtles, the 2003 versions are spot on from what I'm aware of, and the comic book versions are pretty close as well, but the OG cartoon versions were terrible. It was like they just grabbed Mikey's personality from the OG Turtles and just put that on them across the board. They were all goofy, funny, and silly, but they weren't like that in the cartoon. In the OG cartoon, they had their own personality, and it was this original cartoon that created those personalities that they're now famous for, that the 2003 versions use. Now, for the voice actors in this, uh, they were okay. So here's a list I've got up here. But as you can see, they couldn't get any of the original cartoon cast back to reprise their roles due to some legal issues. Now, but for me, I would have hoped that they were, was because they saw how much this movie was going to be shit and and their legacy yeah you know, that their legacy was just going to be ruined and they said no thanks uh in the end there was some good good here but there was some bad as well and uh with that i am only going to give this a 10 out of 20. okay special features now to say this was a celebration of the turtles like 25th anniversary is a real shame that there is not one special feature on here. Talk about missed opportunities. Holy Christ. Like, there is just the movie. That is it. I don't know if the British version or or, or that has some special features, but this one has nada. And like I mean, 25th anniversary, you should have a mountain of special features on here. This is just, I don't know, lunacy. But anyway... Uh, with that, as this segment is, it's all about special features, and there ain't none. So that score brings me to, as usual, 0 out of 10. The Critics Review. Now, the critic score came in at 0%, and the audience score was 84%. No surprise that the critics haven't reviewed this movie, but the audience score, I think, is a bit much. I th though I... I did find a lot of reviews on YouTube absolutely raving about this movie, which made me wonder if there'd, there any of these reviewers had actually watched the OG Turtles cartoon. But there was one shining light out there, and uh, I, when I watched this video, it made me feel better as someone else out there spotted the glaringly obvious put-downs of the OG Turtles in this movie. So go check out this video. I will have the link down below as he does a great job of going through in detail and just pointing out all the bullshit that's in it. He does a good job. Go watch the video. Anyway, if we round that up, we get a score of 8 out of 10. My review. For me, this seemed like it was going to be an absolute great movie, bringing all the versions of the Turtles together for a fun, action-packed, adventure and for the most part it was heading that way but there was their, their portrait of the og turtles just got me mad just got me absolutely fuming now back in the day when the turtles hit in the late 80s i was a teenager and i, and I did watch the show uh and i liked it I, I i still do have fond memories of that cartoon and you know to watch them just belittle them in this movie was just hard for a fan to watch as it it just took me out of the movie so many times with me almost wanting to yell at the screen for the way that they'd made them look it was just it just made me come away from the movie like this was Nickelodeon's way to try and 
you know, diminish the past turtles and make their turtles be the be all and end all versions. You know, it was like propaganda of some sort. And to do that on a project that was supposed to be a celebration of turtles on their 25th anniversary was just right, just a downright dog act by Nickelodeon. You know, I just think, <sighs> you Nickelodeon, you. As you can tell, this movie just makes me angry. And with that, unfortunately, my score is only <laughs> 2 out of 20. Final thoughts. So, first up is collectability. And if we look on the collector scale, I would say this would be for your comic book fan and up. It's uh, definitely one for the Turtles fans out there, the bit of a must have for them, but I wouldn't say it's a must have for everybody. So, if you can get it cheap, by all means grab a coffee now as far as availability on this one is concerned as you can see on the scale it's more on the common side of things it's not too hard to find in your usual retail outlets or online and as far as your average price goes you're looking at anywhere between seven to twenty five dollars on dvd and of course there's nothing on blu-ray or 4k hd now for the final score we get a grand total of 40 out of 100 that's not a great score, but I think it's a fair one for what they served up. It could have been so great, but it just turned into a piece of Nickelodeon garbage. If you remember the OG Turtles, give this cartoon a hard mess. But if you don't, this is probably something you'd like. And one last thing before I go, f you Nickelodeon, f you. I hate those turtles. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, why not hit the like, the subscribe and notification buttons as it really helps the channel out. And I really do appreciate it. And thank you very much to all of those of you who already have. And of course, let me know in the comments down below if you're as angry as I am about this movie or if you enjoyed it and if you've got a copy in your collection. Also, if you would like to request something, a review, or something else that you want to see on the show, by all means, you can contact me by email at thecomicbookmoviecollector at gmail.com or you can hit me up on the socials at Comic Book Movie Collector on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links will be down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.